So there's a very disturbing form that they're outright discriminating against black children in St. Louis public schools. Now they have this magnet school form and I'm going to put this form up. I want you to see exactly how they're discriminating against black children, even though black people do pay their taxes like everyone else, especially when you're in public schools as part of it. Let's say you have a home, you pay school tax, etc. But let's put up this very, very disturbing piece of administrative document. And why is this okay to do this to black children only? Right, so as you're looking at it here, look to your right, over here to your right, and then you're gonna see, please indicate applicant's race. So it says like only one code. You see black African American, but a, there's an asterisk by that. Then you see at the bottom, biracial black is an asterisk next to that. Now at the bottom, it says county residents of these races are not eligible. Now, why are black people the only group that's not eligible if they are a county resident? Why? Why are the white people, they're eligible, they're county resident, or Asian people, or biracial people, but they're non-black. Everyone else but black can apply if you are in the county or considered a county resident. Now, people should be raising all kind of hell about this. They should, because this is open discrimination. You don't want black children from the county in magnet schools, but everybody else can do it. Now I understand if they had a rule that people from the county, no matter who you are, wasn't eligible. I would get that, no problem. But you can't discriminate like this openly. Now I had tweeted them earlier about this. The St. Louis public schools, they did not respond. Um, to anything yet, but I'd like you guys to go and ask them, why is it okay to discriminate against black children in this manner? You see, everything they are doing here in this country, they're always trying to do everything based on color and based on the racial hierarchy, okay? This country has a racial hierarchy, but I just want you to see this so you can get on the horn and ask why this is okay. See, in this country, we're dealing with all this racism and white supremacy constantly. So much so that groups like Amnesty International has warned people about even traveling to this country because of gun violence, etc. I'm pretty sure some of you have heard about that. They do not stop what they're doing. And I don't care if a black collaborator is part of any of this. Don't care. Because the fact is, we have a lot of black collaborators that's on the side of racism and white supremacy. They didn't do all this by themselves to us. They had a lot of help, just like they had help back in the times of slavery. But what I want us to do is go to the Twitter pages and the Facebook pages and get on them and ask them, why is it you are discriminating against black children or biracial black children? Anything related to black, you don't want it there. Now, someone may come up with a silly response saying, well, they are trying to even out the schools between black people. They don't care because they never say that about any white district. No white people can't come, but everybody else can come. Come on now. You know, that don't go down. Who is it that approved this? The school board approved this, the superintendent approved this. I like to know how far it went to say that black children cannot apply to the magnet schools if they live in the county if they're a county resident. I like to know what well, you don't want black kids to get a higher education where well, they can have a better start in life. Because listen, I've been to St. Louis and I'm gonna tell you about St. Louis, same city where Donye Jones was lynched, same city. They have a different kind of racism up there. I'm telling you, you could just, you the talking to the people and you just in the air, you can feel it in the air. Boy, it's like, it's like, it's different. It's not like that Southern racism. Southern racism just kind of in your face for the most part. You kind of get it. It's, it's, it's not like, up, like it is up there. Like I said, it, it's, it's real sinister to me in a way how their racism go up there. But you gotta remember their history of the, the different East St. Louis race riots and 
whatever else. You know, the South has always been branded as a place to home of racism, 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 racism. But these Missouri, Illinois, all in places up North, they got a lot of white supremacist clan up there. Trust me, they do. But to put this on a document and think this is going to fly. No. So people get in contact with the St. Louis public schools and find out why this is acceptable. Remember just last week, you had the Galveston police department leading a black man with a rope, putting a bag over his head because of you raising hell about it. They had to change that policy. So don't think you not getting involved can affect this. Everyone needs to get involved with understanding something. When it comes to racism, and white supremacy, they may be getting at black people today, but tomorrow they may come after you understand that. And I'm pretty sure some of you are seeing that now when it comes to a lot of these school shootings and Walmart shootings, etc. Take it serious when it happens to any citizen, because this situation you see right here is just nothing but trying to keep black children set back. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. But well, this is extremely sickening. We tired of seeing this kind of evil, but this is why I tell a lot of us to look into creating schools, homeschool, etc. Because as long as certain individuals are in power, they're going to keep doing this to us. They have proven this for over 400 years.